Hello, YouTube. I mean, yeah, I'm in my martial arts uniform. I'm about to go to my class, but, um, yeah, I have time. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I'm really happy for how people look at my content. Uh, because I have eight subscribers. I mean, I'm really happy about that. No, it's not much yet, but I joined Saturday, and I'm hopeful that you'll keep liking me, my content and stuff, okay? So, um, I'm just about to make a new video. I told you last time that I don't have a lot of stuff left for you people, but I mean, it's fine, right? Like, my favorite people, like, to almost, like my family mostly, but... Mostly I'm happy. So, how about this? Brother and about plan so what should we be doing? We're gonna be doing today a jumping snap kick. I know, not much, but you only want one kick. Don't worry, after I own my class, I'll remember some kicks. Oh, yeah, there's a hook kick and a spinning kick. You'll get for me. So, what you do for this jumping snap kick, if you've heard of jumping of a snap kick, then all you have to do technically is do a jumping form. But the way of a jumping form is a lot different than you may think. So, you have your knee up, right? And the snap kick is where you take it. A roundhouse is where you, is where you like, and you change your hip. So snap kick's more powerful, more force. A roundhouse is more force, but a snap kick is for like pushing people back. Now jump snap kick is this: you put your knee up like a knee, and then you jump like that. And then you you put your knee up, and then you launch on the foot that doesn't have the knee up. See right here you you jump on the foot that doesn't have the knee up i'm going to show you here okay see this one does not have the knee up that's mostly how you do it and then i'm going to show you full thing that's how you do that snap kick there's also a hook kick where you go on your stance then you swing your back leg and then right is going down you, you bend your knee. Did you see? So I'm gonna show you this way. See? Look, when I swing, do you see how this leg is bending? That is how you do that part for the kick. And then C bends for force. And so that's technically all for today. I mean, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'll be with you tomorrow. Well, not like in a day or maybe, uh, let me say, 13, 15 hours. Like, next time when I wake up, I'm going to show you. And I want to show you my picture of me and my dad. My dad is gigantic. He's really tall. He he did martial arts a little. But, yeah, he got a little. I'm going to show you a picture of him. He's gigantic. He's super tall. Him. This is him. That's me in third grade. Like, yeah, he's tall, right? He's six three. He's six foot three, and yeah, I mean, that you guys will be very nice with me. Do you want to see tomorrow? Is nunchuck day, people? Nunchucks, and then. That, and then I got a few more kicks for you. Maybe it'll be like at least 50, at, like at least 100. At, mm, I might have at least 50 videos of kicks and nunchucks and other stuff. Okay. Hey, actually, right here, right now, I'm going to show you another another thing. So I'm going to do a knee. But if you're doing a knee, don't have your foot straight out. Because then you can break your toes doing that when you hit somebody. You have to have it bent. 
for more force, and so you ha so you don't break your toes doing. It. And if you really, you have to hit it high. the The higher you go, the more force, the more force, the more force you gain at, at each time you go up. If you just go low, you're not gonna have much force because there's not a they think you didn't have enough time to gain force through the way. See, I mean, I learned this over the past five years. I've been in martial in my class in martial arts, and so um, yeah. I mean, my friend Omar, he might. I'm gonna see him tomorrow. I'm gonna bring my iPad for a workout routine video with him. He's a cool dude. I mean, I'm older than him by like three months. I'm nine years old, by the way. If you want to know that, um. Yeah, I mean, maybe tomorrow. To yeah, tomorrow actually, I'm gonna be having a video with him on in a workout routine. Okay. He's a beginner. You can only do like one or two push-ups against me doing at least a hundred thousand, and still not being tired. Cause yeah, maybe tomorrow I can show you the feeding this Rubik's cube. I mean, I also have another channel, but I'm not going to tell you guys the name of it. And all my cash in my wallet is mostly because of that video. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you and good night.